Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I am at SEMA as you can see behind me and so what we're going to be checking out here is just cool feats of engineering. So I'm just going to be walking the showroom floors looking for anything that seems interesting, clever, innovative as far as engineering goes and I'll let you guys know what I find. Now very few of these are actually new technologies but many of them are things I haven't discussed on my channel so I thought they were worth checking out. Number one is what I'll be calling a variable twin scroll turbocharger. Now I'll likely be creating a separate video on this because it's fascinating, but essentially it's a combination of a variable geometry turbocharger mixed with a twin scroll turbocharger and is a solution that could work better in gasoline applications where variable geometry turbochargers are very rarely used due to high exhaust temperatures damaging the veins. Number two is something that's both a bit stupid but also incredibly clever. There are some very good reasons why you may not want the exterior of your vehicle covered in gas tanks, but I have to admire the packaging employed here as well as the ease of use. It looks cool and a lifted Jeep with giant tires can certainly use the extra fuel, so it gets a win in my book. Number three is a set of dampers with external reservoirs. As you may or may not know, dampers transform kinetic energy into heat, smoothening out the oscillations of the springs of your car, allowing for a level ride by creating heat in the background. If you're into some seriously bumpy trails, this can be a lot of heat, so adding fins to the reservoir helps keep the system working within ideal temperatures. Another cool feature is that they include electronic adjustments for both rebound and compression. Number four goes to the Ariel Adams Clever Pushrod Suspension, with the springs and shocks mounted longitudinally with the car. A pivoting center transforms the motion of the pushrod to compress the coilover. Also cool is the Adams cantilevered light fixtures, stretching out and above the front suspension. Number five goes to top mounted radiators. This is one of the most efficient ways of rejecting heat by dumping it out directly into the atmosphere rather than what you'll see traditionally with the air pumping into the engine compartment. Of course, having the radiators here is also critical so that they're not damaged by debris as is commonly in the air on the courses that this vehicle will be racing on. Number six goes to real car sounds. It's becoming so common to pump artificial engine noises into the cabin. Rather than creating something artificial, I find solutions like rerouting the exhaust gases so they skip the muffler a much more exciting solution. The noise is real, it's loud, and if you want it to be quiet, you can do so with the flick of a switch. Number seven goes to electronically controlled dampers. Completely inside the shock, an electronic motor can rotate a mechanism, changing the number or size of the holes in the piston for the damping fluid to pass through, altering the amount of damping it provides. It's a clever solution and it's interesting to see how the packaging is laid out. Number eight goes to 3M's crystalline window film, which can block up to 97% of infrared. What this means is it's challenging for heat to pass through in the form of radiation, so the hot sun doesn't feel so hot. It was remarkable holding my hand in front of it where barely no heat was felt versus in front of an untreated window where there was an obvious amount of warmth from the bulbs. Number nine goes to the rear suspension of a Burning Man vehicle with crisscrossing shocks and even more surprisingly inboard brakes. There are many reasons why you may not want inboard brakes, but from a packaging standpoint it freed up space here and it also looks cool, especially with the excess material shaved off as you can see from the spike design of the rotors. And finally, number 10, best in show for the performance and racing category is an icebox barrel intercooler. It's literally just a metal box that you put ice in with a separate channel that air can flow through to be cooled after being compressed by a supercharger or turbocharger. I know, I'm just as disappointed as you are that a metal box that you put ice in won a first place award, as useful as it may be.